Hello guys, welcome back to Medicurase. So this is the part 3 video of the biochemistry series of the NEET PG rapid revision series. So NEET PG 2022 first question, a patient from Mediterranean country visits Africa where he develops malaria and he's treated with primaquin and later develops hemolytic anemia. Deficiency of an enzyme involved in which of the following pathway could be the cause? Answer to this is the HMP pathway. And you need to have an idea about HMP pathway and the G6 period deficiency because this is again a potential question. Next one, which of the following disorders follows an autosomal recessive inheritance? So the inheritance patterns, again, are repeated questions which keeps on coming. And answer to this is cystic fibrosis. Which of the following helps in transport of fatty acids across the inner mitochondrial membrane? Answer is carnitin. And you need to have an idea about the fatty acid pathway as well, guys. And next one, a single mutation in a nucleotide base pairing resulting in a termination codon is known as nonsense mutation. Biochemistry is a very important subject in NEEPG because a lot of questions keep coming up in biochemistry and uh, the trend of biochemistry is uh, questions are increasing both in NSET and in NEEPG and it's something very important. So you need to have an idea about the most important and repeated uh, topics of biochemistry. So you can get idea about the repeated topics from the PYQs because that is the ones which keep on repeating and certain questions like uh, these pathways are very important and then the autosomal, the inheritance patterns and all of those are very important guys. You need to learn that there's no way without that. Next one, a single mutation in a nucleotide base pairing resulting in termination as we discussed it's nonsense mutation. Next, DNA packing is done by which of the following answer is histone. Next one, an adolescent male presents with exercise intolerance. He gives a history of developing cramps on exertion. This is again something very important. You need to know about all the glycogen storage disorders and the lysosomal storage disorders and all these are very important. And uh, because questions every time keep coming up from these topics. And here the enzyme deficiency is myophosphorylase. Next one, which of the following enzyme activities can be estimated in RBCs to diagnose vitamin B2 deficiency? Answer is glutathione reductase. Next one, which of the following is due to the deficiency? The following is due to the deficiency of, as you can see, there is bitot spots and it is seen in deficiency of vitamin A. Next one, a child presents with anemia, thrombocytopenia and bone pain. On examination, hepatosplenomegaly is noted and light microscopy shows crumbled tissue paper appearance. Crumbled tissue paper itself is the keyword and it is seen in gauchos and the deficiency is of glucocerebrosities. Again, it is a PYT and a PYQ as well. Next one, an electron transport chain is a series of redox reactions that results in ATP synthesis. Which of the following is a cytochrome complex 4 inhibitor? Answer is cyanide. All the complex 1 to 4 inhibitors are to be known and these are very important guys because uh, again questions keep coming up. Even in NEET PG 2024 a question had come. And next one, which of the following zymogens requires gamma glutamyl carboxylase? Answer is factors 1, 6, 9 and 10. So clotting factors 2, 7, 9, 10 are zymogens of serine proteases that contain glutamic acid residues and they undergo vitamin K dependent carboxylation via gamma glutamyl carboxylase. Next question. A patient presents with diarrhea, dermatitis uh, and dementia and uh, which of the following vitamin deficiencies would you suspect in this patient? Answer is vitamin B3 deficiency. Next one. A young boy presents with hypoglycemia and muscle cramps on exertion while playing. He becomes normal after resting for a while. These episodes are recurrent after a period of activity. He has decreased serum lactate and glucose levels. Which disease is he most likely to be suffering from? Answer is McArdle's disease. Again, you need to have an idea about all the um, muscle storage, glycogen storage disorders and the lysosomal dis storage disorders, etc. And the first question in APG 2023, the gamma glutamyl carboxylase dependent, that is the vitamin K dependent uh, factors are which all this is 27910 guys uh, you need to have an idea here there is uh, quite a mistake in the options um, and uh, the answer is 27910 guys and next one a family consumes only polish rice which of the following combination of vitamin deficiency and enzymatic defect will be present in this family answer is thymine and it is tested by transketolase next one um a chronic alcoholic patient presents with confusion, ataxia and painful eye movements. What could be the vitamin deficiency seen in this patient? Answer is vitamin B1 deficiency because in vitamin B1 deficiency, Wernicke's encephalopathy happens with all of these symptoms. Next one, a four-year-old child presents with easy fatigability. Mother complains that the child has increased hunger between meals, which is relieved after food. Liver examination shows no glycogen enzyme deficient is glycogen synthase. Next one, child was brought with pedal edema and chelosis. Cardiomegaly is present. Which vitamin deficiency is seen? Answer is thymine. 
Next, a chronic alcoholic patient is diagnosed with gouty arthritis. What changes are seen in this patient? Answer, increased urate and lactate levels. That is the most appropriate answer from the options given here. Next one, a child presents with erythematous scaly patches in the perioral region, mucosal ulcers and impaired epithelial wound healing. The most likely mineral deficiency. So all these again, um, acrodermatitis enteropathica. You can see the images as well because sometimes image-based questions also come about acrodermatitis enteropathica and it is seen in zinc deficiency. Again, a potential question and very important one. And next one, a patient presence with bleeding gums and easy bru bruisability was diagnosed with scurvy. And scurvy is because of defective collagen formation. Next one, which of the following is seen in low insulin glucagon ratio? Answer is activation of hormone sensitive lipase. Next one, an infant is brought by his parents with complaints that his urine turns black on standing. Which of the metabolite disorders is likely? Answer is alkaptonuria. Next one, a child presents with bone pain and hepatosplenomegaly. A trephine biopsy and aspirate shows the following finding. Which of the following is the most likely enzyme defect? Answer is glucocerebrosidase because crumbled tissue paper appearance is seen and that is seen in Gaucher's disease. Disease. Next one, a child presents with thinning of hair and scale, scaling of the scalp. On taking further history, it is found that she consumes raw eggs. Consuming of raw eggs, something very, very important. It is associated with biotin deficiency because the raw egg contains avidin and avidin binds to biotin and inactivates it. So this is again a repeat, a very important topic. Vitamins are the most important area in biochemistry. Vitamins should be, should be on your fingertips. Next one, a child presents with mental retardation, bone pain and inability to walk. On fundoscopic examination, cherry red spot is seen. There's no organomegaly and diagnosis is Tay-Sachs disease. So that's it guys. Need PG 2024 questions were already discussed in my part 1 video of biochemistry rapid revision. So this video I have done the Need PG 2022 and 2023 questions. So till I come back with my new subject. Um, Stay tuned and if you have any suggestions for uh, the next subject which is to be done in the rapid revision series, please do mention it in the comment box and I will be considering your suggestions. And till I come back with my new video, stay tuned. Till then, bye-bye.